Morning everybody. So we're in Pontefract. I think this might be the old castle, Pontefract Castle. That's a ruin. I think it's looked after by the, um, they called them people. Look, what are they called them people, Si? That agency, that government thing. National Trust. Yeah. Anyway, we're here to look at All Saints Church, the church within a church. I think the church itself, this one that you're looking at, is quite interesting building. It dates back to the 1500s, 1600s and was central to the Civil War, the English Civil War back in the 1500s. This building was taken by the parliamentarians and there was a massive fight around it with the royalists and then the royalists got it and then there was another massive fight. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's Pontefract Castle there, but I might be wrong. We'll have a look. The sign does say that the castle's up there, so. But we're gonna have a look around this this building and I'll tell you something, I were looking last night and I'll put the picture in. I saw a ghost on a picture last night. It looked like someone with a sword in their hand. You were looking at the picture now. It's in one of these windows, but we're gonna have a wait round and then we're gonna have a look at these tombs tombstones and we're going to see what's what some of them are fairly recent ish beautiful <gasps> look at so yeah get a load of this so apparently during the civil war that's when the roof got basically it just got looted they looted the building took everything out of it of any value ripped the roof off and it's just been like this ever since, basically. And then in the 1960s, they built a church within it. So that's this modern construction here. Which is interesting because it's got like some really old gargoyles built into the side of it. Oh. We've got these beautiful gardens. Let's have a look. 15, 1600s, everybody. This stone, so old. Isn't it fantastic. But they've strengthened the structure there. And this says, the ancient parish church of Pontefract, present building, 13th to 15th century, ruined in 1645 during the Civil War. Tower and transept restored 1831, new wave 1967, noted for double helix staircase, sketched by Turner. Where's the staircase? Is this the, is the staircase in here then, do you think? Let's have a look at this, everybody. Look at these old windows. Oh, look, it's all falling apart there. Isn't this fabulous, everybody? We're going to have a walk around the perimeter and see what's what. Look at these old stones here. I'm very surprised they're still there, actually. Look at that. So the tower was restored in 1831. Isn't it weird why they didn't put a roof back on it? And you know, if they were going to restore the tower back then, we've got the odd grave hanging around. As we walk past, we'll, um, we'll get a look at them. Look at this. Look at this old door. <gasps> this is original, isn't it? This is beautiful. No irons, it looks like it's just wood. It's a bit cowed, everyone. Don't 
to the memory of John Althorne, who departed this life on the 1st of January 1821, who was 58. Also, Mary, wife of the above, John Althorne, who, did, of John Althorne, who died on the 4th of October 1844, she was 77. George Campion Althorne, grandchild of the above, died in infancy in 1840-something. More wrecking stones, or wrecked stones. Oh, look at them, gargoyles, look at them, everybody. I really hope you can see them, everybody. That one looks like a monk. And that one is a woman, that's beautiful. So yeah, um, I'm not too sure which window the ghost would have been in. But I don't, you can definitely see someone stood there with them. Um, somebody's definitely stood there with a sword. Look at this. You know what I'm a bit disappointed about, if I'm really, really honest? This just, just dumped here. I don't like that. And I don't like that someone's decided to draw on the side of the building as well. Don't get it. We've got some modernish, I say modernish graves, these are from 1838. Here also rest the remains of Michael Mitten, Justice of the Peace of this borough, who died Jan 3rd, 1845, he was 68, and their beloved daughter Frances Ann Mitten. Look at this, everybody. So up here, you've got these gargoyles under the wind, well, halfway up the window, here and here. That looks like a friar to me, that fella with the big nose. And she looks like a nun. And that looks like a woman with her. But I'm interested in that little alcove there. What wonder what that was used for? Sometimes in these churches, everyone, and they've got it in the more modern churches, you've got um, like a little area with used to have doors on and they keep like the incense in there. So it may have been that this... There's a little, there's a little, little statue in there or something. Possibly, yeah. Like a little niche. There's no chimney in there, so it weren't like it was a fire or anything. Yeah, for such a beautiful um, historical site, I'm surprised at the amount of things just being dropped and... I don't know, it just seems a bit weird. Um, but here you have it, everybody. All Saints, another old door here. With a fairly modern thing on, handle. Try to see through the key all. There's a key in there. Don't open. It's either really dark inside or that's blocked off, one of the two. Oh, look at that. I wonder how old that is. I love this tree of roses, everybody. Tree of roses. <laughs> this um, Lord of Roses. Look how beautiful they are. Wow. Look at that one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, we're just saying, everyone. So we're not going yet, but like these stones were probably laid in the grounds of the church, but they've landscaped it for some strange reason and then just stuck them up here. I don't know what I think about it, to be perfectly honest with you. It's like that one there. 
That would have been a slab, yeah. And who is that? That's children of someone. This is interesting. In memory of Thomas Malburn, Walton even, a squire of Alderman of this borough who departed this life October 1843. He was 67 years old. Right, everybody, we've come for a look around town centre. A quick look, we're not going to be in here long. We're also on the hunt for this bloody licorice route, so I don't know if we'll be able to get any of that. But this is the town hall. It's an unusual town centre, this, everybody. Yeah, licorice bush. Oh, that's a pub. We're trying to find some licorice route, everybody. <laughs> I mean, it is Pontefract after all, isn't it? Traditional butcher. Look at this, everybody. This must be the bit that's from the 1700s. Beautiful um, tower on the roof. Very old street, this, isn't it? The problem is, we're that early. So the reason why we're in, in Pontefract, by the way, is because the other night I read a story about the start of Spanish being licorice and uh, Pontefract sold Pontefract cakes, which are world famous. And uh, Simon was saying that years ago when in Oldham you used to be able to get licorice root and I know there's been a couple of ladies commenting on it in the comments. And uh, I thought if I could go and find some, um, maybe I could also post some out to those ladies that have been commenting and you can uh, have a bit of nostalgia, but... Oh, you heard that church? I know it sounds like it's coming from over here. Oh, there, look, wow! Everybody, I've just found this old passage. I'm always dubious about places like this because you never know when a rat's going to run past your feet. This is very old, isn't it, look? I think we're bummed out here, everybody. I don't think we're going to find anywhere that even sells a bloody Pontefract cake. Never mind. Never mind. Uh... Here we go, everybody. Pontefract Civil Society are having a licorice festival next week. So they're going to do all sorts of stuff for the kids here. Food and drink market, street entertainment. That's when we're going to be able to get some licorice. Not today, I don't think. So we're going to come back possibly next week. Well, what possibly, we will come back next Sunday. See if we can get some licorice route, everyone. And if we can, then... Anyone who wants some, I'll send you some out in the post. Why not? Everybody, look at this up on this wall. This is Ducks and Green Peas Row. We've got this old sign. Things? Seats? We can't actually... This is old, isn't it, everybody? Wow, look at that. Look 
Hear them bleeding pigeons. Right, Everybody, I've seen something exciting. I'm going to show you this bit first. So this, notice the cow with a chain through its nose. And then further up, and this is the market hall built in 1859 to 60 to the designs of Joseph Wilson, opened by Prime Minister Viscount Palmerston. The side of market known as 17th century as the shambles had been designated for safe fresh meat since 14th century. The lane behind was known as Pudding Middens, rebuilt in 1957.